So how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, Jorge. All right. It's good to see you. Uh, I'm good glad to see, to see you. And I'm glad to be back in St. Augustine. That's what I was going to say. It's wonderful to have your return. Yeah, yeah. And so here we are, and I see everyone, you know, doing all the choreography and yeah. stuff. Are you, are you guys ready? Come on, you have to say yes to the camera. It's a brand new adventure. Every time we put a brand new show together, okay. it's something uh, where you're taking a risk. So those some who were here for the last show are going to see a new show. An entirely different spectacle with wow. uh, different acts and different production numbers, different kind of story, a different experience. Yeah. And you know, St. Augustine is, well, we're the little circus that could. You know? right. It's, uh, I let people know, remind them when they step in and we get the show started, don't be fooled by the size of the tent. Some of the biggest dreams uh -huh. start out in the smallest places. Yes. And uh, we're carrying on a tradition that's hundreds of years old. Um, St. Augustine is a city that's familiar with hundreds of year blocks of time because yes. it's been around for and, and, and a long time. Is that your circus has such an international flair? It has an international flair. There's people from all over the world that are here, but I think that the point I'm making about the uh, tradition or old age, I mean, just being old is not a feat. These things happen if you just sit on your butt, let time pass, but reinventing what you do, a convention that is extremely old, like the circus, the notion of bringing people together, that's uh, old as uh, what, who laid the rails, or uh -huh. I don't know what that phrase comes uh -huh. from, but I always thought it's funny. Uh, but, but we're making it new for people who are young and young at heart to come and experience a sort of magic that I think part of them will remember, even if they've never seen it before, mm -hmm. but then another part of them, I believe, is going to be amazed at how it's transformed for touching a new generation of, of kids of all sizes and well, ages. Well, I remember that last circus, the children were literally twirling in excitement. It was the cotton candy, the... at least in part. Oh, but don't yeah. worry, we'll have plenty of that on hand if they want to just eat that up. Yeah, absolutely. But everyone just ate it all up. It was, uh, the ovations were tremendous. And um, You slip five bucks to everyone at the door, it's so easy to make that happen. There's no five dollar standing ovation offers happening currently oh, on this tour. But as a gentlemen. former actor, and you guys are on stage, break a leg. Thanks, and, man. Uh, We're so excited. I've, six weeks? Six buddy. weeks. Oh, wow. It's, it's daring. That is daring. Yeah. You know, a, a big part of why we're here is to support this community. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we had the door open to us in the first place last year. We, mm -hmm. we picked a time of year when, when tourism usually takes a dip there mm -hmm. in late January and February. And this year, we're going to cover that time and some of Nights of Lights. These communities embraced us. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, we're, we're actively doing things to uh, help actually track where people are coming from. Mm -hmm. Many of them, so many of them from outside of the yeah. county. Yeah. And uh, people that come here to see the circus are also staying in hotels and going to restaurants. Yeah. And well, I think that's, that is awesome. That's one of the things that can happen when you really work together, businesses work together. And my real dream is to make this an annual tradition for St. Augustine.